In this paper, we present what we believe to be the first fully automatic, real-time, natural video matting algorithm that works with complex, high-frequency backgrounds. We acquire a calibrated light field of a foreground object located in front of several background objects. We synthetically refocus the data to find corresponding pixels in each camera for points on a foreground reference plane. Taking the mean per pixel gives the synthetic aperture image. We also take the variance. For points that lie on a foreground object, the variance is low as all the cameras are focused on that point and see the same colors. The variance is high for pixels that do not lie on the foreground object as the cameras are synthetically out of focus for these pixels. We double threshold the variance image to create a trimap which labels each pixel as foreground, background, or unknown. The point I in the unknown region is a linear combination of two random variables f and b, given the matting equation upgraded to work for random variables. We assume alpha is constant across all cameras, which means that the transparency of a point is view independent. To solve for alpha, we need i, f, and v, however we can only observe i. We estimate f and b using f prime and b prime, which we can get from nearby points in our trimap. We estimate f by assuming that the variance of f is equal to the variance of f prime. This only assumes that the view dependent properties such as specularity are the same, while the view independent properties such as diffuse color can be completely different. This allows our method to work for foreground objects with high frequency content. To estimate b from b prime, we note that the distribution of points sampled by b heavily overlaps with those of b prime. Thus, we can reliably compute any statistics of b from this overlapping region, which is quite large in practice. We use the variance statistics to solve for alpha. Once we have solved for alpha using variance measurements, we use the mean statistics to solve for the alpha multiplied foreground. We can then composite our foreground object over a new background. We now show results for several static scenes. Here we show the central camera image for a Santa doll filmed in an office corridor. This is the variance image, the trimap, the alpha mat, and a composite. Note that our result recovers the same fine hair structure present in the ground truth result. Here we extract an alpha mat for a tree filmed in front of several other trees. While single image isn't very revealing, using a camera array, we recover a trimap and an alpha mat. Our alpha mat recovers details such as a single pine needle also seen in the ground truth alpha mat. The number of cameras needed to get good results is a factor of scene content and camera spacing. We've gotten good results with as few as eight cameras. Here we show results for a stuffed gorilla filmed in a hallway. As we drop the number of cameras used, the alpha mat quality is retained. Our real-time system for matting dynamic scenes uses an array of eight VGA video cameras. We can compute alpha mats, alpha multiplied foreground, and composites at several frames per second at quarter VGA resolution. We can generate high quality VGA results offline in a matter of seconds per frame. Here we show a result from our real-time system. We have filmed our actor in an ordinary office setting. Our system displays a central camera view, the synthetic aperture image, the variance image, the trimap, the alpha mat, and finally a composite image. Note how our results accurately capture the detail of our actor's spiked hairstyle. These are our high quality results produced offline at VGA resolution. For our method, it is necessary to find the depth plane for the foreground object. We provide both an autofocus method, and we also provide a simple manual focus option for additional adjustment. Our method is not limited to computing alpha only on object borders, but can also handle holes. This type of structure is visible in this result where we show an actress filmed in a lunchroom. We capture both large and small holes, and even a single curl of hair. We can pull mats for transparent objects such as this coffee pot, and for complex translucent materials such as smoke. Our mat correctly captures a single ring of smoke. Our method handles moving backgrounds, where we can have a person walking in the background, or the entire background can be moving due to camera panning. Lastly, we show that we can generate an alpha mat for a virtual view where one might place a movie camera. Here we pull a mat with seven cameras for a virtual eighth camera position. 